Hello everyone, Simicraft here, and uh, word of warning before we begin, if you reside in the city of Seattle, you may just want to quit out of the video now because there are no umbrellas allowed. Yes, that was a joke about how it rains in Seattle. Uh, and that is the name of the game as well, No Umbrellas Allowed. Which I will say, one of the weirdest names for a game I've ever come across. But from what I hear, I think it's essentially a pawn shop simulator, which sounded very interesting to me. Uh, so that is what we are playing today, and without further ado, let's just play a new game. 2080, Agic City. Okay, looks like we got some sort of industrial fire, perhaps? Last night, there was a massive explosion at the Citizens Alliance Research Institute in Central Bunker District. Due to the explosion, most of the artificial rain tech files and the fixer ma manufacturing facilities are all gone. Okay, well. The government and the Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes have announced that they need at least eight more weeks to resume the fixer... Fix Fixer... Fixer... Fixerain project? It's either Fixarian or Fixerain. I'm not sure which. For now, Agic City, the last city waiting for the Fixarian. Yo, I bet it's Fixerain because that sounds like rain, which umbrellas are related to. Anyways, last city waiting for the fixer rain is to stay dry for a few more weeks. Also dry, so yeah, it's it's rain. Fixer rain. Gotcha. Well well then, hello. Oi, are you dead? P -p please help me. Sure, sure, I know I've got guys coming. This is Dalpung Joe from Avak. I've just heard some... Oh, look at the night sky. More beautiful than ever, isn't it? What's wrong with him? Is he injured? Is he from the insti... No, oh, this is my son. He's got weak legs since he was a child. It's typical, don't worry. Do you need any help? No, everything's fine. Lucky me, you fit the profile. Huh. Now this is a small apartment. Could just be a room, though. In a house, potentially. Who knows? Oi, oh yeah. The doctor said your face got the most injury, so he covered your whole face with bandages. You can take them off after a week. But he's not sure your face will be the same as it was before. But you gave me plastic surgery? I didn't ask for that. Ah. Ah, I'm Darcy. Just an old time who owns a second hand shop nearby. And from this moment, you'll be my son, Bob. I know you're not just an ordinary fugitive, but Avak will keep track of you as you showed up right after the accidents. So after you get back on your feet, you should manage my store pretending you're my son. This, this sounds like it's just your excuse to get out of your work. The store is on the B1 level of Badopolis. In Sing, Sub Sing side, it's just across the bridge. Uh, and you. Day one. Alrighty. We're saving. Always good. Waking up, I guess. Although he was just there. Did I go back to sleep? I mean, this wouldn't be the weirdest thing in the world if I had gone back to sleep. So I can use A and D. Can I not use my... Oh, I was hoping to use the mouse. Okay, let's get the keyboard. thought this would primarily be a mouse-controlled game. Okay, hopefully the keyboard isn't too loud for you all. Okay, so A and D. Great. Um, hello. 
Well, you're new here, aren't you? You gotta pay a fee to pass through here. Really? What are you staring at? Looks like you really are new here, falling for this crap. Beat it before I really make you pay. Uh, okay. Uh, what's this way? Any more toll roads? Haga City. Can't seem to go that way. Okay. This way we go. Uh, we will go to the top. I always wanted to be at the top. Uh, join Avak. Hmm, maybe. I guess we'll see. Simmer. Simmeruk Lofts. Okay. Um, move to. Mindless So? What the heck's with the names here? By the way, why aren't you looking for a job? What for? We'll soon all get fixed anyway. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, I don't want to be fixed. Junuk Side. I wish Junuk Side could be developed even by half of Sing S Sing Sing Side? Are these Korean names? I thought I saw some Korean text. Is that why they're so weird? T to my American sensibilities? Yeah, that is definitely Korean text. I, I can spot Korean text from a mile away. If it's, you know, several stories tall. Okay. Sings. Okay, it is literally Sing Sing Side. Alright. Buy some flowers and clothes to do hair too. What? Okay. Oh, you're going to the second hand shop? Well, well, well. Do I have a surprise for you? How did buses get here? Anyways, uh. Yeah, noise. What's wrong with them? He's doing that today, too. He's even. Ma okay. Fixer cannot save us, apparently. Donate uh, for zero. And uh, move to that lower floor. Uh, gems? Okay. Right, can I just, like, go inside these? Oh, I'm sorry, I was leaving muscle and has vanished again. I'm so sorry to make you waste your time. Okay. Darcy's! Mr. Darcy. Hi, I'm Hugh. People call me the Sphinx of Darcy's. And you, eh? You look much better now. Welcome to Darcy's, the second-hand shop. I've been running this place for more than 30 years. And as I told you, you are now my son, Bob, who will inherit the store from me. That is why I picked you up from the beach. Lovick's been pestering me about his whereabouts, and I need to stand him for Bob. Yeah, after all that time, now they're looking for Bob. Oh, but Darcy, what if Bob comes back out of the blue? Foreshadowing? That's not gonna happen. It's been almost a decade since he left. By the way, this one is you. It's got a mouth on it, but... It'll be all available anyway. Ha! Now let's start discussing what you are gonna be doing here. And here you are going to both buy and sell things. And you must stay alert at all times. Every customer wants to get paid more. Well, aside from those that are like, buying, of course. That's because this place is off the grid from the Citizens Discourse Data Radar. I did it so I didn't have to care about Alva, can you? Uh, it's hard to fix, just like you said, customers all get so cocky as soon as they get in here. Anyway, for today I'll teach you how to negotiate price when buying things. That's where to sort. When buying things, it's really important to find a balance. There has to be a price that a customer can accept that can still make you a profit when resold. So you can't just start yelling out prices. You have to appraise the item first. When it comes to a price and things, I use cards. Well, it's like magic cards. Anyways, uh, tutorial one, cards. Car customers introduce their items with cards. So gray cards, base information, base price. Okay, so what the object is. Okay. And then a green card is detailed information that has a change in price. Gotcha. So this would be like, it's a cup, cups are worth this much, and this would be like, oh, it's a high quality cup, so it's even worth even more. Gotcha. Oh, I forgot the blue cards. Yeah. 
Green cards include objective information. On the other hand, blue cards are close to opinions, just like how damaged, how popular, or how rare an item is. Sharing blue cards are likely sharing your opinion, at which customers may protest or get mad. Okay, okay. So, a green thing, objective fact, blue thing, like, eh, it's kind of not very rare. Gotcha. So, I guess a green thing... So, if I present a green card, customer can't object to that. If I present a blue card, they can't object to that, is, I guess, the, the base thing. Because you can't argue with facts. Not in the 21st century. Anyways. Uh, to share a card with a customer, you must insert the card in the card. So, the combination of cards yields a price. You can use it as a guideline while bargaining. Gotcha. But don't worry too much about killers. For now, focus on bargaining the price based on the cards. Okay. Yeah, the gray card for this bag is big. Bags are usually sold for a hundred vanas. Let's say brand A is pretty high end, which means the price goes up by 200 V. Vanas, I guess. Gow ad means adding an extra 50 V to the price. And finally, the price went down by 20% as it is slightly damaged. Okay. Now you can start bargaining based on the price card, price these cards of seats. Can you see 280V below the card slots? And that's the guideline. You can suggest 280V from the side if you want to go easily. But if you want to make a profit, you'd better cut it by at least one third. Alright, that'll be a good rule of thumb. Price bargaining. One, decide how much to offer. Two, make an offer. Oh. Alright, how much to offer? At first, offer less than 70% of the guideline. Okay. Make an offer. Use the calculator to set it its buying price and press offer. Say yes or no to a customer's offer. To say yes, press accept. If no, insert new numbers and press offer. Gotcha. Okay. So since this is your first offer, you can be a little bolder. Use calculator on your down right to and tr try 190 V. 190? You think I'd pay 190 for this bag, sir? <laughs> it's only worth 180. How about 180v? No, no, this time do as I say, try 190. <laughs> you think you're gonna come in here and boss me around? I am the pawn store's offer. So you know what? You're not, I'll be kind to you. 185. No, this time do as I say, try 190. You know what? Only because I like you, I'll cut you a sweet offer. 192. No, this time do as I say. One night. Ah, trying to talk me down. That's an that's an interesting tactic. Uh, you know what? I'm insulted by it. One hundred. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine. One ninety. You're the boss. Good, but mostly customers won't accept your first offer, like you. <laughs> Instead, they will make a counter offer like this. How about two forty? 240, you're out of your mind! It's only worth 220 at the most. It's the best I can offer. We're well, alright. I usually negotiate back and forth a few more times, but it's good for now. By the way, I didn't mention what you owe me. Eh? Well, fixing you took 500 V and I gave you 1000 V as seed money. So you owe me 1500 V. Pay me back the total amount at once after you make enough money. I'm in debt? Drats. I'll take 15 V per day as interest, so it's not a good strategy to leave your debt unpaid for long. Okay, gotcha. Wait, uh, 15 a day per interest? It's not just the debt that you should make money. If you don't save money, you won't be treated as a human being after you become a fixie. What? Strictly speaking, they are not human beings. Anyway, to be treated in a fair way, even after you get fixed, you have to join the Fixy Pension Plan. What? To join us? Dude, I'm too young to be thinking about pensions. Oh, I forgot, again, <laughs> the silly requirements. Just so we're clear, it's not because he's old, it's because there was more than one. As far as I remember, you join it by paying 10,000 V, or was it 30,000 V? I'll let you know the details next time. Making money is the first thing to do, anyway. Well, don't say anything you shouldn't when Avok shows up. Just don't try to get involved with them. Good luck, then. 
Have a great day, my dearest Darcy. So, okay, we're, we're 1,500 V in debt, and... Dear citizens of Adric City, good morning from the associations of victims of Avarsi... Avaris crimes. They broadcast in that manner every day. The association will stay closer to you than ever until Fixer comes down again. Let's win victory for the war against Greed together. Thank you. <laughs> You're new here, aren't you? Uh, kind of. But does Lassie have a problem in managing his part-time workers? The last guy was a nightmare, though. What, there, there was the last guy? When was the last time this guy ran his own shop? Anyways, so how good are you? Do you know how to name brasses? Hold on, hold on. This is Bob. He's not just some part-time kid. He's Darcy's second son. Can I get rid of the dad? Okay. You're Darcy's son? Then is Nari your daughter? No, no you're, you're talking about Buk Bukug. This here is Bukug's... Magoo's younger brother, Bob. And Bob never gets intimidated by customers. Am I right, Bob? Ugh. His hands are shaking already. Anyway, take a look at this. My daughter gave this to my ex-husband who used to be her father. H how, how do you... St how do you stop... Yeah, exactly. Used to be? Would you please figure it out by yourself? People expect too much from me. I'm divorced. Living with that man meant nothing but a threat to my daughter and me. Uh, okay, I, I just needed... We, we always had to keep our heads down when Avux near. Uh, okay, I heard he's doing some kind of one-man protest these days. Look, I just want to appraise your statue. I don't need your life story. He has some kind of hero complex to stand against Avux. Anyway, what's written on there is removable, so don't worry about it. Uh, okay. Uh, Bob, why don't you start by 35V? Uh, hold on, let, let me take a look at this thing. So, um... It's a young Gi Chori, the best father in the world. Okay. Mm. Uh, it's a trophy. Okay. Uh, plastic. Eh, it is recyclable. And it's in perfect condition. Eh, that does give you a bit of a boost there, doesn't it? Um, 35? I'm, I'm feeling generous. I'll offer you 40. No, no, no. 32. 32 V. Wait, even I wouldn't accept that. That's too low. D don't, don't tell the customer that. Just offer her 42 before she gets angry. What? Am I negotiating with you or her? Okay, look, look. Fine, fine. 40. Okay, it's a fair price. 40. Yeah, all right. And hey, you should get your hue repaired or something. Yours is so rude. He's just supposed to talk back to its... Yours aren't supposed to talk back to its owner like that, I think. I don't know. Grr. Please leave me now, dear nosy customer. Ah, here's a tip for stock management. Oh, my favorite. How's the Dow doing? Oh. Managing the inventory. All items you purchase go directly into the inventory. Items are listed here. Click each item to see its details. Gotcha. Um, where is the, is this the, nope, that's my debts. Let's open the inventory, it's the button on the center right, with the small triangle on it. Center right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, am I a fool? Hold on, nope. No, uh, okay. Okay, center, oh, there it is, center right, gotcha. Because you can't see what's inside here, so you have to place it on the showcase to sell it. Okay, great. How do I do that? Um. Okay, displaying items. Display items to start selling. Uh, one, display an item. Drag out an item from the inventory. Set a selling price. Click the item. Use the calculator to set its selling price and offer. Uh, clear sold out. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, try placing. Yeah, okay. Um. Okay, how did you say I do this? Oh. There we go. Right. Top. Oh, showcase. Top left. Gotcha. Oh, okay, okay, there. Uh, I guess we'll recommend the trophy. Praise for 60, bought for 40. Uh, 
We can, let's give ourselves a bit of a profit margin. Uh, let's say 70. 70 V for a trophy. That, that seems reasonable. It's, it is in perfect condition. Okay. Good job. Are you having fun? Do you, why would you care? She's so twisted. Whatever, there's more to tell you, Bob. Okay. Reputational cards. Witness of Darcy's. This card will give you more advantages if you keep recommending valuable items. It will make customers trust your recommendation and encourage them to make a purchase. Okay. When an item is put on the spot. Okay, wait. Did I already do that? The card, Witness of Darcy, is one of the reputational cards. And Darcy will soon explain more about them. Okay, when? Uh, hi. So you're the devoted son who came back giving up his life in Bluebird? It's a weird city names. Uh, I found this at home. How much can I get for it? Okay. You should buy this if you want to fill up your showcase. Okay, the politics of... It roughly deserves 18V, doesn't it? Um... Let's see, so it's it's a poster made of paper, unsurprisingly. It's fairly damaged. It's it's not worth like eighteen's a bit much. I I'd give you fifteen for it. I think we still got chances to compromise, so what would you say to sixteen me? Sixteen? Sure. It wasn't that bad a deal, huh? Okay, so we got a political poster now. Guess we'll, uh... There we go. Um... Praise of 24. I mean, honestly, it's barely above trash tier. We're just gonna put it at 25. Oh, hello. Is this...? Yeah, the second-hand shop. Sorry, I don't know anything about this town. Ah, are you from another city? Have you escaped the fixer rain? No, I was studying abroad and just came back to find my friend. Then why are you here, not your friend's house? There's an issue. And I'm here to ask you to keep this for me. I have to look around for a place to stay, but it's so heavy and I'm afraid of Avok. Where do you get a moon rock like this, by the way? And have you been carrying this around the whole time? Yeah, I mean, people carry weird stuff sometimes. Yeah, it almost pulled out my arms. Well, I can buy your arm. Well, can I buy your arms? Anyway, I'll be here this evening, so... Please wait for me and don't sell it. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Floaties from other cities are so naive. Floaties? Eh? Well, I'm just browsing. Hello and welcome to Adric Adric. We have two news stories coming right up. News time! Oh, good. My TV at home is broken. You, you'd you better buy something. First, Avic has launched their investigation into the fire at Citizens Alliance Research Institutes. Okay. The investigation is focused on finding if the fire was a mere unfortunate accident or an act of arson. It's clearly arson. Everyone was just waiting for someone to act. Whoever set the place on fire, I'm fully behind. I mean, you probably shouldn't openly support terrorists. Uh, Professor Yong Ji Choi is staging a one-man protest against Avic. He argues that the lack of clear standards for what are and are not avarious crimes will cause huge confusion. He also claims Avok is interpreting the law however they please, leading to the incarceration of innocent citizens. Hmm. I respect his courage, but don't you think he's all just talk? Why can't he do something real like that arsonist? However, Ava countered that if we set clear-cut laws, many will find ways to circumvent them. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, you could get some loopholes that way, I guess. The rules must be ambiguous, and penalties must be harsh to make the citizens behave. Uh, that, that sounds... bad. Um, you know, you don't want an arbitrary, capricious government. The sound's not working. I told Darcy to at least get a somewhat decent TV. Citizens of Ajax City, the Bunker of Freedom is opening its doors once again. The bunker's opening again? It's gonna get loud around here. To let as many citizens as possible avoid fixer and we have lowered the entrance fee. Ooh, well, that's, that sounds good. Last time I said that they charged 100,000 V. Shh. The new entrance fee is 25,000 V per citizen. Okay. 25,000 V? This is fantastic. I can hide from the fixer with 25,000 V. Of course, only pure floaties can enter the bunker. What What do either of those words mean? That goes without sight. And ticket sales are scheduled to begin in five weeks. Okay. So we have five weeks to get 25,000 free. Until the day we meet, the Bunker of Freedom will be waiting for all of you. The citizens' discourse stat is still pretty quiet. Folks must be watching out on what they say because of Avak. But the data record is blocked in here, right? This is a once in a lifetime chance. I won't need to stick to the silly fixie pension anymore. I'm not gonna miss this. Um, sir, you didn't buy anything or or sell. He's all excited. Avak's gonna catch up to him before that, probably. But they didn't mention one thing. I'm curious if they'll charge you extra for bringing a heal. Oh, I would all, of course I'd bring you. Can't you ask around for me, Bob? I'm gonna go to the bunker too. I don't want to be left with fixies. I'll look into it. What is your name again? Everything's going all right. Of course, Darcy, I'm here. Everything's easy yet, huh? Hang on. What is that rock in the storage? Guess what, Darcy? That's a moon rock. Then maybe you can make some money by selling it? Where'd you get it? Some lady just came in and asked us to keep it for a few hours. So you got it for free? Yeah, but she will come back in a few hours. If she's not stu I mean, if she's in a situation to ask you that. I'm pretty sure that she's being chased by Avok. She will not like it then. Why don't you just give it to me? I was actually in need of money. Oh, hold on a second, hold on. Come on. <laughs> Look. I, I'm... My intention at the moment is actually to hold it for her in, in trust, I believe. You know, if the citizens of the city can uh, trust us with their moon rocks, then they can trust us with their trust when they're deciding if we're giving them good advice on various items to buy. Additionally, if anyone is going to sell it, it's gonna be me. I'm 1,500 Vs in net right now, and uh, I need to start getting out of that hole, uh, so no, you can't take it. Looks like I brought a stubborn one. Fine, fine. Can't hurt his feelings like that, Bob. I can do what I want. Smash up. Kind of. Hi. Um, I'd like to sell this here. Pretty sure you need more items now. Showcase is close to empty. Okay, uh, newspaper royals are coming. Okay. Uh, hard copy news, it's paper, fairly damaged. That is like 13. Ah. Uh, I, I, I mean, it's practically charity, but I'll give you eight for it. Seriously? But you can make me a high offer than that. Um, I really can't. It's eight. Do you not want to compromise? I'm the nice one here, you know. Oh, sweet! Hold the line! Oh, yeah! Hi. Oh, it's you. Bugu's little brother. Welcome back to Agic City. I'd like to show you something. It's not very valuable, but nice. Don't worry, it doesn't smell anything. 
thank us, because we're gonna let you know you have a huge problem with your nose. Okay, um... You should buy this, if you want to fill up your showcase. So we got nice socks, 16V for... Uh, fairly damaged, I mean, it's, it's not mint condition. Like, I can get you, like, 13? And even that's pushing it? Like, this is a favor, honestly. I see we both have an opinion. So why don't we just set out 14B? <sighs> sure. Sure. Twisting my arm, but I'll, I'll do it. Okay, we need to actually, like, put some of this stuff in our display. Uh, we aren't gonna put the mood rock. Uh, so we put socks on sale. Sell this for an even twenty. Uh, news. I mean, it's a it's a newspaper. People might actually be willing to buy this for something. So I think yeah, we'll put that on sale for twenty and see if it uh, moves. Uh, yeah, still got the trophy on sale. So appraise at sixty. Special price six. What does special price mean? Cause, like, the price is 70. I don't know. Anyways, uh, so we got our stuff on there. Great. Oh, I'd like to buy a 15-year-old newspaper over there. How much is this? Oh! Uh, it's 20V. It's more expensive than the new ones. <laughs> but I'll take it. I've been looking for this. Alright. Overpriced newspaper? Sold! Yeah, I love ripping people off. Please don't take that out of context. Hey, I'm back. Uh, is my Moonark safe? Of course it is. Thanks so much. I could tell by sight, but you're a really nice person. Would you have a great evening, then? And of course, she didn't even mention anything about a storage fee. Jeez. Hey, sometimes we just gotta... We help the people, you know? We'd be nice on occasion. Just like what I expected. This place always looks like junk of Sing Sing, you know? But we're working on it. Okay, we got a... Mindless mug. Um... Okay, so it's from a city, I guess. Fairly damaged. It's worth a... I mean, honestly... I feel like I'm just doing you a favor taking this off your hands. I'll offer you seven. Seriously? You can make me a higher offer than that. It's fairly damaged, my man. Like... Look, I'll cut you some slack. Eight is the best I can do. You sure? Thanks. Well, now I have to figure out what to do with this chicken feed. Okay. I don't have high hopes for this mug. Uh, we'll price it to move. We'll, we'll put it at 10. And I guess we should take off the paper. How much is the poster picked up in Bluebird? Ah, yes. 25V. That's good. I'll take it. Okay. Making some profits. Oh, hello. Uncle? Yes. <laughs> Why is she being so weird these days? Bob, this is Neri Jo. She's your fake niece. Oh, hello, fake niece. How are you doing? You mean he's my fake uncle? Why would Bob leave Bluebird for... <sighs> like this in the first place? Sheesh. Hey you, if you're dreaming about inheriting this store, you'd better shut it off right now. Because there's no seat for a bogus son like you. And, this place is supposed to be mine once Grandpa passes away. Well, I mean, let's not rush things. <laughs> now cut the crap and buy off this cup. Why do you keep bringing garbage like this? I mean, actually, do I have to explain? Why don't you sell your paintings? You have tons of them. 
Stop that joke. Do you think I'd sell my works to a place like this? Please, think before you open your mouth. Yeah. Quit whining and take this cup for 9 DV. Yeah, that's a special deal. It's not worth 9 DV. It's worth 29 V. However, perhaps I can severely overpay for this mug to gain the... To get the relationship with my fake niece off on the right step, on the right foot. Alternatively, she might think I'm kind of just a, a sucker and a moron if I buy this mug, which is clearly only worth 29V for 90V. That being said, you know what, niece? As a nice favor for a family member, sure thing. Alright. <laughs> Smarter than you look. Let me make you th make this one thing clear. If you ever ruin the soon-to-be-inherited-to-Nari store, I'll make you into a hue just like that thing. That's something you can do. Nari, you're crossing the line. Anyway, once Grandpa finds out what a deadbeat you are, he'll handle it himself. I just gave you 90 G for V out of, like, the... Anyways, yeah, stay strong, Pop, of course. She even makes me want to run away sometimes. Okay, I just paid you 90 V. How, how does that make me a deadbeat? Like... I'm never going to recoup the cost. I mean, we'll, we'll put it up there at 90 V on the off chance someone might actually pay that much for it and l help us let us break even. That being said, I highly doubt it, but yeah, you never know. Breaking news from Magic Adric. The Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes is still looking for four missing persons. After the fire broke in the Citizens Alliance Research Institute. All missing are men in their 30s, including an accounting staff, Sung Su Han. Bokabai and Jisoo Cha, who've been working as researchers at the Institute. And experiment participant, Yong Do, are missing as well. This is reporter, Sewu Oh, for Ajak Ajak News. You don't need to avoid my eyes, I don't care if you're one of the four missing. I don't know if I'm one of the four missing, if I'll be honest. Just don't cause any harm to my Darcy. Of course. What if you're the original Bob? Oh, no speculation. Uh, so I was your first day. Come on, Darcy, I was with him the whole day. Yeah, and he's still here with us. By the way, there is a thing you have to do. Uh, okay. Next one I have will come by to check your identification. So you have to make a fake ID by all this fraud. Fortunately, there's a man who can make a fake ID. He lives in the same building as you, right above your room. Visit him after work, since he sleeps during the daytime and works at night. He will ask for 800 V to make for making a fake certificate. Oh my gosh! If you can afford it, visit him right after this. Darcy, what if our new Bob fails to get a fake ID? Well. That Navik will come to take my fake son away. Oh, is it closed? Yeah, sorry, we're closed. Then what about this gentleman here? He's the owner of the place. Oh, is he? Uh, by the way, is this the theme here? Theme? What theme? To wrap up an employee's face to make him look like a mummy? A mummy? Or was he just caught in a terrible turmoil? Nah, just kidding. Have a good evening then. Who the heck are you? Did he hear us? Nah, I don't think so. But, no, yeah, let's forget about him. Anyway, just make sure you get your fake ID by this Friday. It's for yourself. I wrote it on the calendar too. A small one bought me. Ah. Thanks. Are we close now? Dear citizens, the Association of Victims of Avarice Climes is announcing the day is at net. I think I'll be the one who determines that. The forecast for tomorrow is sunny in the morning, but rainy in the afternoon. As you know, no umbrellas are allowed. Thank you. I don't want to take me with you, but this is my home. If you get to miss me, deadly, have a dream of me tonight. Toodaloo.